Have I been walking around in circles? Because this looks kind of familiar, this. <laughs> have I have I been walking around in circles? Oh god, do I have a worm? Oh, that's a worm. Oh, brilliant. I've, I've slept on the ground and I've gotten a worm. Hello everybody and welcome back to Green Hell. In the previous video, uh, I jumped straight into the game without any background. I was completely lost, I didn't know at all what to do, and you guys were kind of disappointed in me. I do understand that, but I kind of want to learn from you, and by just diving into the game, that's the way I usually do it. But uh, today, I've actually went through the uh, tutorial, I've played through it. And I know how to craft the basics. Uh, the rest is up to me, but I know now how to make a campfire. And I also know how to treat my wounds if I ever get them. I know that if I collect tobacco plants, uh, they can treat venomous bites if I get bitten by a rattlesnake. Uh, I can also uh, do bandages from plants that look like... Uh, I can't see it right here right now, but they have these yellow flowers at the bottom that I can uh, chop down and use as a band-aid if I ever need, or bandages. So that's really good. Uh, yeah, I have learned a few new survival skills that I think are gonna be necessary if we're gonna survive in this uh, green hell of ours. So, what I've decided to do today is not only learn to craft a few more recipes, uh, I've also decided to kind of explore and, uh, oh, not pick that up, and uh, you know, just uh, learn how this game is set up and uh, what there is to do here. Because if I just stay in the same place, I think it might get a little bit boring. So, today we're gonna go out exploring. We're gonna we're gonna pick up all bunch of stuff, and uh, once we have collected a whole crap load of stuff, we're gonna sit down somewhere, maybe craft a campfire, have something nice to eat to keep our sanity up, because if this goes too low, I might start hallucinating and whatnot, so... It's really good to keep an eye on your watch, just to make sure that you're not losing your mind. And without further ado, let's just fill my backpack up with these lianas. I think I can make an axe if I combine a stick, rope, and a sharp knife, or not knife, but sharp rock. Uh, so that that's something like I'm, that I'm gonna try out, but anyway... This looks... Kind of scary, although no, it wasn't that scary. Let's just go pick up some nice looking fruit here. Um, let's also pick up a bunch of sticks because we might need need them or we will need them when we're going to make a campfire at some point. Uh, I also know that you can drink directly from, from water. That was something uh, completely adorable. You can drink from the water directly, but not from this one because this is dirty. But I think we can collect it into a empty coconut, if you will, and then boil it and then drink it. Let's now quickly check these things. So what if I eat one of these? I get c hydrated and carbohydrate. So let's just eat, why not three of them? So we have three remaining. Let's check the watch now. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I think we're also going to have to fight the guys that in the previous video attacked me uh, because that seems to be something that I might have to do. How much... How much, uh, rope do I have on my stuff now? My backpack. Can I see it somewhere? There it is. One, I think I can have like two more. One more rope. There you go. Now that's full. Now if I see a plant with the uh, yellow flowers in the bottom, I'll tell you. Uh, cause that's what we need to take care of the uh, venomous bites that we can get from snakes. Cause snakes are apparently a thing here. Let's just keep on going this way. I don't really know where I'm gonna end up. We're just gonna walk straight. Oh, it's raining. Okay, not too bad, I think, uh, oh yeah, also, uh, what was that? That was probably a rat. To make tinder, we need these dry leaves here. That's what we need to light the, f light the fire. Uh, we can also use, uh, some empty bird's nests to, uh, to get tinder. Uh, we found a rock. Now, if we could find another one, actually, I don't, I do not want to go in there because there's leeches in the water. Now, if I go to here, hold on, C, and if I take inspect we can see all of my parts here and if uh, if there's anything gross on them so far we seem to be quite cool you can also get leeches just by walking through the woods just by walking through there you can get leeches so you need to be careful you need to constantly look on your vitals to see if there's anything clinging to you and sucking out your life 
from from you. <laughs> All right, no space in backpack. Really? Do I? Am I full already? No, I have a lot of space, man. Don't don't kid me. Like, oh, sticks is what I can't pick up anymore. Okay. Well, let's not pick up sticks anymore, but let's pick up the uh, small sticks if we come across them, and then also rocks. That's what we're gonna do. Ooh, lovely flowers, these. They look nice. Green coconuts, sign me up. Let's actually, uh, let's drop it down. Let's see if we can find another rock. Oh, there's a rock, or like a stone. Yeah, there you go. So now we can combine the two stones that we have in our backpack, which is over, where are they? Open the backpack. How do I open the backpack? I'm an idiot. There you go. So two stones, just like this, and that will make a stone blade. That's what it's called. And with this stone blade, we can now chop this coconut into a drinkable thing. Just like that. So now we can drink it and get some hydration up and running, because that's what we might need. So let's just, let's just do that right now. Drink. There you go, and then we can drop it out, and then we can chop this into two halves. Then we get two coconut halves with some coconut meat in them that also give, I think, yeah, fats and carbohydrates, so that's really good. Right, we've done some progress here. Let's see if we can actually make a axe now that we're at it. Um, take the crafting out, and let's combine a stick, some rope, and the sharp stone. There you go. So now we've crafted an axe. You see, I've learned stuff, you know. I know how to properly play this game now. Look at that. Still haven't found the, um, the flower that protects me against venomous bites. But I think we're, we're going to find it here any given time. Oh, speaking of snakes, where are you, you rascal? Oh, it's right there. There it is. Right there, that's the rattlesnake. We need to be careful of those, because if we go too close, it's going to bite me. And right now, I don't have anything against the bite, so... Could be very fatal if I get bitten by it. Let's quickly check if it's to see if I have any... Any things on me. Let's see now. Nothing over there. Nothing over there. I, I did some... I did do kind of a noise, but I don't think that was... No, we're fine. Actually, we could just chop this down to get some tinder. Because we are gonna get, we are gonna make a campfire at some point, so we need the dry leaves to start a fire, and that's the one we need. Dry leaf, coolio. This looks like there's been like a car over here. I don't think that's the case, but certainly looks like it. No spacing backpack. We're good on the sticks. Uh, let's just keep on walking over here. Follow the road, if you will. Do we have any plants here that could cure my? If I get bitten by a snake, I haven't seen one yet. Oh, there, there's the ants that I didn't know last time. But those are ants, and if I get close to them, they're gonna bite all over my corpse or over my body, and it, it's gonna cause some damage in the long run. So we're not gonna go close to that for now. We're just gonna keep on walking along the road here. But man, if you really just stay a while and look at this game, you can kind of appreciate how pretty it is. Because look at this. What is, so, is are the birds mad at me? Speaking of pretty, this could actually be drinking water. And that's that's a, a possum or a pig or something. It's gonna run away. It's not dangerous. Can I drink it? Unsafe. So it's not dirty. It's not clean. It's just unsafe. You're un unsure if it is uh, drinkable or not. My energy is starting to get a little bit low, but we can start to sleep or we can go to sleep at any given time. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, also, we should try and find some leaves. I think I've said the wrong way all the time now. I think the uh, yellow flowers are actually made for band-aid. Or bandages, I don't know the difference. And then, uh, the tobacco plant is actually for, uh, for the, uh, venomous bites. So, I'm, I'm correcting myself if you guys already typed that in the comments. <laughs> Alright, let's just walk into the woods a little bit here. Let's not follow the road anymore. See if we can find some... Find some cool stuff here, maybe? Don't know. Still afraid of spiders. Thunderstorm incoming. That could be both good or bad. I still haven't seen one of those plants that I could make some bandages with. Let's keep on following this road here. Again. Let's just keep on walking. Let's explore some stuff. Let's see what this game has to offer. I think there's some coconuts up in the trees if we're observant enough. So far I haven't had, really hadn't had a look, but... There should be coconuts up in the trees, in some trees at least. Oh boy. Oh! That's a wasp's nest, I think, or something even more dangerous than that. I don't want to go close to that at all. 
It could potentially have some uh, food in it. But as of now, I don't have any, like, any tools or weapons or anything, so I'm not going to go close to it. We should, at some point, start making a camp, I think. We've explored quite a bit here, and it all looks the same, <laughs> to be honest. It all just looks... Oh, look! I think it has a prey in its mouth. I don't know. It all just looks the same. Ooh, I, want, I do want to go in there, though. But why, why is there so many fallen trees here? Coconut. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's actually just, let's see how my vitals are. Yeah, we could just have a little bit of a drink here. There you go. So now, our health is very good. The only thing that's down is, is the red part. I don't know what that is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. And we'll figure stuff out together. Oh, there it is. Here's the plant. So this, with this plant, I can make bandages. I think. Yes. So if I now go to crafting with the backpack... I can, uh, yeah, these ones. Backpack and crafting. Let's make this into band-aid. Or bandages. Yes. Let's make a few bandages. Because we don't know when we might need them. And then we have them at hand right there. There we go. Uh, let's, um, harvest the bird. So we get some bird feathers. And I think we got some meat as well. Yeah, we should start finding like a place to sleep soon. I think I saw like a bridge thing over here. Let's go over there. See what that place is. Let's go over here, man. What is this? I'm curious now. Oh, then it was probably just a graphical glitch. Yeah, there's no bridge over here, man. This is a rainforest. What was I thinking? <laughs> Have I been walking around in circles? Because this looks kind of familiar, this. <laughs> <laughs> have I have I been walking around in circles? I don't know, but you know what guys? I think this is a good spot to make a camp. Cause we have we have a lot of green forest behind us. Well there's green forest everywhere, but we have a we have a nice big pond of drinking water here, and I think we could use this if we get some sort of a water purifier or something. So let's just set a camp for now and let's uh maybe just relax a little bit, you know? Take take the time. Let's take the Campfire. Let's plunk it down somewhere here. There. Okay, let's put the sticks in here. And all of those. And let's craft the hand drill. There you go. So you can pick up all the stuff that you need for a campfire and a hand drill. You can carry that much. That's good to know. So let's now use the hand drill. Use. And let's uh, pull out the uh, dry leaf over there, and let's make a fire. Oh, hold up. I don't have enough energy to make a fire. Oh, I see. Well, you know what? <laughs> I'm just gonna go straight to sleep right here then. How did I go to sleep? That I Oh, there we go. Let's just sleep, man. So how do I know how long I need to sleep? Oh, am I sleeping in, like, real time? Uncomfortable sleep made my sanity worse. I think it was pretty comfortable, man. Okay, let's let's just sleep, man. I don't care. Let's just sleep for a while and see what happens. So, my sleep is actually making my condition kind of worse. Do I need to make a bed? Is that a thing here? Let's just chop down some leaves here and see if we need to make a bed. Do I know how to make a bed? I just haven't read about it yet. Stone trap. A small shelter, so... Maybe we should make that then, a small shelter. Oh, hold on, leaf bed, there we go. Palm leaf, 10 pieces. Okay, so I need 10 pieces of palm leaf. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I should have had... Oh, hold on, no, I'm an idiot. Oh, I completely forgot. Okay, so let's let's now make a bed. Oh, I'm such a, I'm such a dumb klutz sometimes. Okay, let's make a bed somewhere, anywhere. Come on, man. Plunk it down. I saw you could make it here. Let me make it. Cut plants. I don't have anything to cut the plants with. Can I just punch it? I have the axe. I thought I lost the axe. There you go. Okay, so now I should be able to make the bed. This ground is way too uneven. <laughs> this might have not been a good camping spot after all. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me. What? What do I gotta be? Don't know. Let's make a leaf bed. Come on. I know I'm tired. I know I'm trying to make a bed, but it just doesn't... There's always something in the way. Let's just run up here and let's place the bed. Oh, there's ants. 
but I could place the bed over there. No, I need to cut the plants. Plants, okay. I found a place. I found a place. Thank God. Let's put the palm leaves over here. So the weather here doesn't really know how to uh, how to be weather because it's raining, then it's then it's sunny, then then it's raining, then it's sunny again. Is that the way it is in in uh, rainforests? Does anybody of you live near a rainforest? Can you guys inform me a little bit here? Is that the way? Is that the way they work? <laughs> oh, the stone. I didn't see it. Let's pick up the stone. There's another stone right there. Let's pick that one up as well. So now we can make a sharp thingy again and we can make a extra axe if we so need to do. Leech, I do have leeches on me. So now we get to pick them off. And they are somewhere. Not over there. There's one. Ugh, get away. Uh, do we have somewhere over here? No. Some on my other leg? No, nothing. Okay, we're clean. We're clean. No more leeches. Those bloody bastards are sucking my life form out of me. At least we've been productive today and I haven't died and I've also known how to do stuff. There we go. Hold to sleep. Let's sleep on the bed. Oh, brilliant. Oh, what a lovely thing to do. New notebook, worm. What about this worm? Why do I need to know about this? Worm. Let's read about the worm real quick. Known treatment. Using a bone needle or fish bone painfully removes the worm, but reduces sanity. Oh god, do I have a worm? Oh, that's a worm. Oh, brilliant. I've, I've slept on the ground and I've gotten a worm. Great, so now we need to find some bone. Actually, you know what? I can now make the fire. So let's go down here and let's make this fire. We're still making this place home, damn it, even if my bed is a little bit far away. So here we go. Let's use the hand drill. Oh, no. Oh. Let's put it back here. And use. Okay. And kindling over there. Dry leaf. There we go. Now we're making a fire. This is the way you do it, guys. I know how it's done. Don't you worry. And ignite. There you go. So now we have a fire. And hopefully this is not going to cause a uh, forest fire. So how do I get a fish bone to get rid of my um, my situation here? I'm just losing my sanity because of the worm. And right now, as of this moment, I don't know how to get rid of it. Using a bone needle or fish bone. Do we have a crafting recipe here? No. So I need to find a bone needle or a fish bone. So probably a dead bird somewhere. I could use that, but there aren't any dead birds around here. We also don't have any fishes nearby. Oh, here's a perfect place to make camp. <laughs> totally didn't see this. Yeah, right now I don't really know what I should do. So I think this is a perfect place to leave it because I think you guys have the answer to my question. If you know how I get a bone needle to get rid of my worm, and also, if, oops, if you know what the red thing over there is to the left, let me know in the comments below. That was everything for this time. I do hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.